Hey, what's up, folks? This is Juan, a.k.a. DJ Juanito from Perfecto 3D, Groove Nation Animation, Groove Nation Records. I have a new tutorial for you today, and all I got to say is, wow, it's a game changer. It's the new Live Link update. Folks, it is amazing. That's all I got to say. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is update everything. You need to start with the Reillusion Hub. Just update everything right here. Click Updates. Next, you want to update the Auto Setup. Free download. Download here. Then you want to go over to the Epic Games Launcher. Go to Library. And right here, you'll have to update Unreal Engine 5. It will say update here. Then you go to install plugins. You update iClone Unreal Live Link. I already updated everything, so I don't need to do that. Anyway, once you do all that, you open up your programs. I need to create a Unreal Engine project. Okay, you go to film, video, and live events. You find a destination where you want to save your project. You name it and you create. You can see right here it says 5.0.3. Now you're updated. Okay, we have the file open. Now the first thing I want to do is get all the plugins going. So we go to the new auto setup. Mine is on the desktop, so I need to go hunt for it. Desktop auto setup. You copy the contents and plugins. Copy. You go to where you put your uh, Unreal Engine 5 project. Okay, mine is right here. And then I paste those folders right here. Okay, we're good there. Now we go to plugins here in Unreal Engine, plugins, and you go to Real Illusion. You click iClone Live Link and you restart. You will notice both the plugins are now showing in your Unreal Engine. And then what I'd like to do here is go ahead, go to Window, Virtual Production, Live Link, Source, iClone Live Link, OK. Now we're good to go here. OK, once we've updated everything, let's get down to business. Let me show you what this thing does. First thing I want to do is go to my Epic Games Launcher and I want to add a environment to my Unreal project. Now, what do I want? Okay, Brass City here. Let's add it to my project. I've already added it, so I don't need to add it again. Then we go ahead and go to the uh, Unreal Engine. Open up the Demo Palace. And there we go. Beautiful little palace here. Okay, so now So now what we do is we go to character creator. I transfer the character over to iClone. Okay. Here goes the character. Um, we don't need the lights. And we don't need the lights. And we're going to transfer him over. But first, we need to go over here to Unreal Engine. Go to Windows. Go to Virtual Production. Live Link. Source. iClone Live Link. OK. Now we are connected here. Go back to iClone. 
right here is the first thing that we need to talk about. Um, this is new. Uh, what we're going to do is transfer over the character and we're going to include the motion right there. So what we want to do is you don't want to use current frame because that'll only transfer over one frame. You want to transfer over the range. So I'm going to go ahead, select this, and then I'm going to click this little thingy here and it'll grab the range of the animation. Now, here we go. From 0 to 1108, it's going to transfer that animation over along with the character. So here we go. Okay, we're finished here. Now it's transferred over to Unreal Engine. Here it goes. Got the camera and here goes the character. Now, um, this is the cool part about uh, the update. Let's find where the character is. He's like way over here, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you what happens when I move this guy over here to um, to where the uh, where I want him. I want him in the middle of the palace, which would be where is the middle of the palace? It's easy to get lost here. Ah, I want him over here. So where's the character? He's over here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him over here. Bring him up. And I pressed F, by the way, so I could uh, come up right to the character here. Press F to uh, frame the character. F, 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 and here we go. We just placed the character in the middle of this kiosk here. So when I go back to iClone and I press, well, actually, let me scoot this over so you guys can see. When I go over to link and I press activate link, He disappears. Wow. Okay. So where is he? Let's press F again. He's right back where we started. And then if I press play, there he goes. He's doing his thing, right? But he's in the wrong spot. This is one of the things I had to deal with before, you know, kind of placing him and all that. But the update brings something new and it's amazing folks it's amazing let me show you what happens okay so he's back here again so i wanted to take him back over here to the kiosk right okay well let's do this i hope you guys are watching watch this this is amazing Okay, so we select the kiosk. We could either right click on the kiosk, go down to transfer to iClone, or we can go over here to the outliner, right click, transfer to iClone. And lo and behold, there we go. He is in our space here. Isn't that like great? It's like magic, like freaking amazing. So look at the, my character. He's way over there. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab the character. I'm gonna bring him over here. Okay, let's press F, frame him. Okay, so let me open this up a little bit so I can see better. Let me bring this down. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to bring him down, scoot him over. Frame them up, press F. We set them on the kiosk and presto, he is now on the kiosk. Actually, he is, let me back him up a little bit. Now we'll put him down. Okay, there he goes. Uh, well, I need to really get in there, fix those feet, because I'm just uh, OCD like that. Good enough. So let's frame him up again. There we go. Press F. And he's in the kiosk. So now, guess what? When I go back over here to... Um, let me get rid of this scene manager when I go to it's already activated the links already activated so when we go back over here to the scene watch very carefully boom there he goes now I want him facing this way so all we got to do is move him over let's scoot him back that way let's flip him around let's bring him forward and watch this boom there he goes in the kiosk here so you can bring meshes oops you can bring meshes over uh, from Unreal Engine uh, into iClone it'll just help with the scene so it, yeah this is good this is real good okay So there he goes in the kiosk. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else that this thing does that just blew my mind. And this is why it's such a game changer. Before, you know, if I wanted to change the character in some way or if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to update the character there really was no way to do it. I had to delete the character. I had to go back into uh, character creator, do what I was going to do, send him over to iClone, and then transfer him back over, then do all that stuff all, you know. It just, it was just a mess. So now, watch this. Watch this, guys. This is just... This is just out of control. This is just amazing. Okay. Let's put a little light on this guy. There we go. Okay, so we're going to change the character. We're going to add stuff to him. Let's see. Let's go to mm, Content Manager. Let's go. Let's dress him up. Let's change. Let's change his shirt or something. Let's put on this shirt or something. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that shirt. Now we're going to add a shirt. And let's add an accessory. Um, let's add an accessory. How about some sunglasses? Okay, so there goes our character, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to Unreal Live Link, go back to Transfer. I'm going to take this uh, link activation off. Go back to Transfer, and we're going to simply update them. Okay, ready? And go. And there goes our character. 
with his new duds. Tojo was a game changer. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Come back for part two, the transferring of animation. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.